we're back. So if you guys stuck around and you're ready to go into more detail, then woohoo! All right, let's let's keep going. So I'm next. I'm gonna work more in the detail in the flower petals so that these power these flower petals come to life a little bit more. We are going to start by touching up the edges, and then there's a little bit of a design or not design, but like you know, like a pattern <laughs> in the petals. Uh, so let's start with just lightening up those edges to bring those to life a little more. So I'm mixing white, violet, and th and phthalo blue. I'm gonna use a little more white so that it's a little lighter than the other parts. And you're just gonna take your brush and go right along the edges, doing a couple little squiggly lines to get the look of these petals. Squiggly little lines. Just adding these lines to every outline of the petals. And look at that, it's already coming to life more. Alright, and then we're gonna take our violet and ultramarine, just add a little bit more to that color you just had. And now we're going to take the brush and just go back and forth and get a little bit of water on the brush and just go back and forth from this point from the outer edge, kind of working that in and I'm very lightly pressing and we want to make two lines right around the center that also come out. So same thing right here, we got the two lines in the center. And then this one, it's coming down from this side. And then this, I want to highlight that a bit more. We'll bring this down from the side. Get a little line there. All right, we're going to boost our shadows again. So we're going to take some violet. And I'm going to touch up. I wet it down a little with water. We also have some shadows from these uh, parts of the inside of the flower there. Can do a little shadow there. Kind of goes on the right side of both of those two central portions and then it comes up. Here we're going to boost this contrast some more. So I really wet the brush down there.
Here we got a little shadow. Definitely got a shadow here from it being under the petal there. And this one's got those two in the center. Got some magenta in this shadow. gonna take some magenta, water it down, and just go over those purple lines, starting in the center, working your way out with that nice magenta color. Violet and ultramarine blue. Going to build up the shadow in here. Some more and around these little things. And it's darker back here too. Just kind of pulling down the spaces in between these things. Just makes it look a little more natural when they're less thick. Made them a little too thick. Alright, we're gonna go and boost our highlights again. So I'm gonna mix some white with magenta. Just throw this right here. A little highlight there. Hint of a highlight right there. Alright, so that one's looking much better. I'm gonna take some black with a little bit of magenta and just boost this contrast again here. Kinda want these uh, antennae things. <laughs> I think they are called sepals, uh, to just be a little bit darker in the inner part and get a little bit lighter. As they're coming out there. And we'll touch that up again later, but we'll leave that for now. And do one more little highlight here. You want to try to have a consistent amount of detail throughout the painting. You don't want to have um, 
like one petal with no detail and the rest of the petals are super detailed. Alright, so that looks really nice. Now let's work on this guy. So now I'm building up these highlights and shadows again on the next one. We've got a shadow right here from a leaf and a shadow right here. And then we can still see the central lines, even through our little shadowy spot, it's just a little cooler. Now we'll take some of our white and magenta, build up that highlight. It's really nice and bright right here on the edge. Yeah, again, make sure you get your edges with those nice little wavy lines. You can still do it a little bit in the shadow spot. It's just going to end up looking a little cooler. Now we're going to do that thing again where we bring it down from the outer sides, bring some lines. I'm going to do highlights on there too. This one's more in shadow down here. And then this one we don't see much. Just have more of a magenta color here since this one's kind of folded. We do see our three lines there. Then we're going to take our violet and build up our shadows again. So we're just boosting that contrast between light and dark. Just start pulling that shadow down in between these pieces of the flower. So we can touch that up later. Oops.
Take some more pink. Magenta with white. Let's start adding that. Coming out from the center. Yeah, let's do our highlights one more time on this one and then we'll call this flower done. Let's take a little bit of magenta and white. Start to build that up again, our nice highlights. Okay, and then we'll go back down to this guy, take some magenta, mix with white, Can build up these highlights a bit. Alright, we'll start with our white, blend it in a little with the other colors. Can dip it in the water. And we'll add our highlights around the edges, our wavy edges.
Okay, got that nice pretty outline. Then we can start to work on the lines that we have on here. So we got those two lines. Kind of come out from center. Take some of my violet, just build up these shadows again. So you guys are probably figuring out that this is a very repetitive process. Basically the same thing you do to one flower, it's going to be the same thing on the next flower. So these are all the same species and similar size, just have a little bit different lighting. Basically follow the same rules for painting all of the flowers. So if you can figure out one, then you can get them all. Take some violet there, we've got a darker shadows here. All right, and then we'll work a little bit with the uh, highlights on the outer edge of the petals that kind of come down. And then we've got some shadows. Little highlights in the shadow. We just added a little bit of phthalo blue in here so that we could tell that these are still in shadow.
just building up my shadows one more time. Magenta, separate these two petals. good. All right, now we're just going to touch up the central part of the flowers. Take a little bit of brown and a little bit of blue and a little white mixed in there too. I'm just wetting it down and then I'm going to build my shadows up one more time just at the base. under some of them and I'm just going to add the shadow in all three flowers. Okay, it's looking good. While that's drying, we're going to go around and touch up these leaves one more time. So we're going to mix our pale green with our yellow chamomile medium and some yellow ochre. I'm just going to wet that the brush. I'm going to start to add some of our veins and the leaves. And again, you don't have to go into this extent of detail with your painting. You can stop whenever you want and whenever it looks like it's finished to you. Some people are just way more about the color and the feeling of the painting rather than accurately and realistically portraying it. and. That's fine too, it's just all up to your preference.
All right, now the last thing we need to do here is touch up the central parts of these flowers and then this is all done. So I'm just gonna clean off my brush really good, get all the extra paint off of it, and I'm just gonna do some highlights. So I'm just gonna use my yellow pail and my white. So it's a really, really, really light yellow. All right, looks way better. And then we can just take some pure white on top of that. And just build an even brighter highlight just at the tops. And then we'll do the same thing here. Start with that yellow. It's just yellow pale mixed with white. And then we add some white on top of that. And then we're just gonna Squeak in some yellow ochre here, just to build up that 3D look. And then our last one. a really thick application of paint here and we'll go back with our shadow one more time just yellow ochre maybe a little bit of brown in there
All right, guys, and that's a finished painting. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any recommendations for future painting tutorials you want to see, then just let me know. Leave a comment below this video. And if you recreated this painting, I'd like to see it. I love seeing everybody's recreations of my paintings, so if you want to post it on my Facebook page, The Painting Stoof, then you can do that. Or you can post it on your own Instagram and just tag me so that I can see it. And I'm looking forward to seeing your version of this. So thanks for following along, have a great week, and happy painting. Bye bye!